Hi, how to use the replication feature. This is in batch list and in monitor as well. Now the replication feature is used when you want to replicate a task. So say I have a, some files here. I want to print page one to tray one and page two onwards to tray two on all these files. Now with the replication feature you can do this. So first of all, you need to set your printer to, for example, tray one. So I'm going to set it tray one here in the source, tray one. I'm going to save that setting now to a printer settings file. So I'm going to save it to tray one.prs, which is in this folder here. So that's now done. So I'm now going to set up tray two. The reason why I do this is because you can actually set any settings. So you could print, say, page one on color paper and, and the rest as black and white, for example. So it could be any setting in the printer, not just trays. So I'm now going to save that as tray two. So now I've got my two setups ready. So once you've done the setup, you can just reuse it for any number of files. So I want to set tray one and then I want to print the file, but I only want to print page one. So I do right mouse, set internal PDF printed options. I can just do one to one there. So then I'm going to print page two and then I'm going to print the same file again. We're going to print from page two onwards. So set internal options, two to one, two, three, four, which is just to the very end. So that's now set and ready to go. So if I click print now, it will print just that one file like that. So you can see it names the output as well. So now you've got one to one and then two to 12, because it's a 12 page document. So if I look at the printing options, this is on the spool file itself, portray one is set. So the print is actually being paused and then tray two. Now to set up the replication, what you do, you highlight the file and then you go action, set file for replication. Okay. And click yes. Now at this stage, I want to save the actual replication setup because I want to use it in monitor as well. So we're going to do a file, save settings as. So I'm going to call it setup. So that's my setup file there. Now I'm going to set it for replication again. Action menu, set file for replication. Yes. And I'm going to add these PDF files here. So I just want PDF. Don't want subdirectories. Okay. So just put this folder here. So it does, it populates the list and then click OK. I will remove the templates because I don't need them anymore. So I can just see now it's inserted all my files and it's putting all the tray settings in between. So you've got tray one file, tray two file, tray one file, tray two file with all the different files which are here, the three PDF files here. So that's ready now to print and that will print correctly. So that's how you use the replication feature on a batch list. Now to use it in monitor, and clear that off, go into directory monitor setup. You set up your folder to monitor as normal. So I set it up to monitor this folder here. Just print PDFs to this printer. You gotta make sure it's the same printer set up as in your PRS files. And then you go on to extra options. There's a use replication setup file. So what I do, I'll direct it to this. So that's now set. Now you can right mouse update if you've got lots of profiles. Or add to monitor list, it's a new one. So that's now set. If you scroll across, you can actually see all the settings there. I've actually got some add-on settings I don't actually want.
so you should be able to see the replication file set up there so if you've got lots in this list it's quite an easy way to see what's been set for everything so that's now set up already to go so I'm going to activate monitoring save and exit I'm just going to clear the logs so I printed these before so you can see it's got tray one set and then file tray two set and then it'll be file again and that's it give it a try